Well, hello and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about how you can add Snapchat filters to your live stream. That's right, Snapchat is now available on your live stream. You might be thinking I look a little bit different. I can promise you this is definitely not one of the filters. I just had a really, really good rest last night. Okay, okay, obviously this is a filter, so let's just turn that off. There we are, and we're back. <laughs> so this one is a lot of fun. Let's get to it. So disclaimer on this one, guys. This one is a lot, a lot of fun. However, I have found that it has caused occasionally some performances on stream. So you can often see that there might be an audio delay, which you'll need to compensate for in OBS. And I've also seen it affect just the general performance of the stream and the image quality. So if after all of that, you think, yep, I still wanna go ahead and do this, I'm gonna show you how. Now this website is really, really good at providing tutorials on just how to get this set up. But this doesn't really tell you how to get this set up on say your live stream. This is more just if you want to have this set up as your webcam. So again, what we're gonna go through today, if you are just looking for how to have this on your webcam, for using Zoom and doing all those kind of things on your PC, well, we'll still cover that as well. You can just ignore the end of the video. So what you need to do is go ahead and choose download here. And this next screen, it will show you all of the system requirements. So have a check on there. As long as that all looks fine to you, you can scroll down, go ahead, sign up, and you can choose whether you want this for Mac or for PC. I would be downloading on PC. Now I'm not gonna go and download this again because I already have it. So just follow the on-screen prompts and go ahead and install that. Now, when you first open it, this is what it should look like. Now, I had a bit of an issue where basically all I needed to do was restart my computer, but the preview box up here was just showing us nothing. It was just completely blank. It just wasn't finding my camera. So if you have that issue, just completely restart your computer and it should be fine. Something else that you'll want to do is come over to the little settings up at the top here and actually choose which camera is going to be your source. So in the drop down, just choose your webcam that you're using. Now in here, you can change the resolution. Now you'll see that if you want 60 frames per second, you're going to be limited to 720p. For me, this is absolutely fine because I stream in 720p anyway. But if you are wanting full 1080, you're gonna to have to drop to 30 frames per second. So just keep that in mind. You may also want to choose which audio you're going to use. So in this case, I just have my Rode mic. So pretty standard for setting up any kind of webcam on there. A few things you may want to turn on or off is being able to have the camera start on startup. Just keep in mind this, as I mentioned at the very beginning, it is kind of resource intensive. So you might want to turn that off so it's not on all the time. Choose where you want to flip. You can actually apply some retouching. Entirely up to you, have a play with it if you want to. To me, it looks a little bit fake and, and plasticky, so I tend to leave that one off. There is the option to have a snap code overlay, so that's more of a Snapchat thing. If you want people to be able to scan the code and find your Snapchat, then you can do that. I'm definitely not going to do that. Um, and you can also optimize for green screen. So if you are actually using a green screen, you can tick that on and it, it will make things a little bit better for you. Now, for those of you who are wanting to use this for streaming, just take note that we do have some hotkeys down here. So to be able to quickly turn the lens on and off, so kind of a toggle effect, um, which effect you want to do. Also to be able to take a photo, if you want to save that, we can add a hotkey there for that as well. And also if you want to start, stop video recording. And in all honesty, I just, I leave those off. These are all things that I manage myself in OBS. So we're gonna come out of here and let's have a look. Now, this is actually linked to my current little camera. So it's gonna affect both of these, which should be fun. So a few examples. Examples. You can just basically search for lenses specifically using this box here and find what you're looking for. Say if you wanted to be a banana, for example, we can search banana and you can see in here there are tons and tons of variations of bananas that you can be. Um, this one here is incredibly popular on my stream. I have a channel reward point which allows people to turn me into a banana for 20 seconds um it's on a lot so um <laughs> choose your filters wisely if we click it again that will toggle it off so you'll also see on there it's, it's kind of difficult to see on this one 
but you can actually set these to be your favorites as well. So for example, here you can see that little tiny star there. If I click that, it will add it to my favorites. Now this is an important step to do if we want to be able to have these trigger on stream like I do where my viewers can spend their points or type a command and then it can be toggled on and off. When you've gone through and picked which of these images that you like and which are your favorites, you can come up to this little yellow star at the top. Give that a click and in here you can see all of my favorites that are set up in here. So pick a few that you like. Then the next thing you want to do is come up to here and you can see we can actually link these to hotkeys. So I have a few of these set up. I've got loads more that I'm planning on bringing into the stream at some point, but you can see I can just go ahead and choose various hotkeys to be able to have these triggered by say a stream deck or in my case, I use Lioran board. So if I just scroll down here, I can see that I have this one called Floppy Unicorn. This is another fan favorite on the stream. And my hotkey for this one is Control, Alt and F5 all together. If I come back on here and click away, if I hold Control, Alt and F5 on my keyboard, you can see that has now triggered the wonderful floppy unicorn. I actually love this one because the physics behind it is really clever. Um, and oh God, I, I'm just happy to wear this like pretty much all the time. I don't know about you, but we'll turn it off by doing control, alt and F5 again, and that gets rid of it. So it really is quite simple. So now that we have this set up, we need to go over into OBS or whichever streaming software we're using and link this over. So there are a couple of things to keep in mind when we do that. So let's switch over. So you need to make sure that your snap cam is running in the background while ever you want to use it. So as part of your stream at startup, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's there running. So the first thing in here that we need to do is come to our sources. We're gonna add a brand new one in there and we're gonna choose video capture device. Now we'll need to create a new one. You can see I already have it set up here, but just to show you what you need to do, I will put SC for snap cam and we'll choose OK. And within here, you'll see all of your devices. So what you're gonna to need to do is to actually change this from whatever you're using. So this would be my normal camera and you wanna change that to the snap camera here, just like so. Now within here, there's a few options down at the bottom. You can change if you need to. I'm just gonna leave them as they are because I'm pretty happy with how that is. And I'm just gonna choose OK. Now remember that this was set to 720p, which is why it doesn't fill my 1080 little layout here. So I'm just gonna make that snap and fit the screen there. But what we'll see now is if I open up my filters again, and let's go and toggle back on that banana, you can see that's now working. Now, before you go live using this, what I would suggest you do is that you make a little recording of yourself using the filters and listen back and just make sure that your voice is actually synchronized. What tends to happen whenever you're pulling a video from another source, it does add a little bit of a delay. I think I found it was about a 400 millisecond delay for me, but this will depend on your own computer and your own setup. So you'll need to do that to work out if there's a little delay on there. So if we realize that there was in fact a delay and my audio appeared to be ahead of the image. So in this case, the, the delay appears to be that the image is behind the sound. What we can do is we can add a delay to the audio to realign them. So we just need to select the relevant source here. And on the audio mixer, you'll see there's this little cog down at the bottom. If we click on here, we can choose advanced audio properties. We just need to find our microphone and you can see there is my 400 milliseconds sync offset. It is a bit of trial and error just to work out what that delay is. You may not have a delay, but the chances are you probably will. So just be aware of that one. So now that we have all of that set up, we just have one more piece of the puzzle. How do we set this up so that our viewers can trigger these commands? Now, the example I'm going to show you today is using Lioran board. I have also done a tutorial already on that. So if you're unfamiliar with Lioran board, check that one out first and then come back here. It will all make a lot more sense to you then. So open up Lioran board. I have made a brand new deck in here that is called Snapcam. If you need to do that, just go ahead and choose add new deck, name whatever you like. 
So you can see in here, I have all of my various filters set up and I've, you can see I've got a lot of room for lots of other filters that I could add in the future. So to set up a new button, all we need to do is click on one of the empty squares with a left mouse button. And with here, you get lots and lots of options. But in this case, what we want to do is a simulated key press or a macro. And what this will give you, let's just give it a name. So this would be banana. I already have one, so let's call it banana two. We can choose if there's gonna be a delay here. I'm gonna leave that as it is. You can choose which keyboard keys it's going to be and which control alt shifts you're gonna hold down at the same time. Now, just a word of warning, some of the shortcuts that I chose actually interacted with a particular game I was playing. I'm not sure if you guys are also playing Valheim at the moment. I think everybody is. If you're watching this in the future, that'll be a real giveaway as to how old this video is. But when my viewers are triggering these commands, um, sometimes it may make me do weird things in game. Let's just leave it at that. Look, are you making me squat again? Look, you've made me squat. <laughs> Now, what you need to put into here is basically whatever the shortcut is that you put in your snap cam. So if we pull this up again here, let's pull it to the side, bring up our side menu, bring up our favorites. And if we wanted this banana to trigger, we would add Control, Alt and F10. So we would do Control, Alt, and then in here, push F10 and hit create. Now in this case, as you've already seen, I do have a button set up for this already. So I'm not gonna create this one. So I'm just gonna cancel. Now at the moment, the only thing that we've done is set this to be so that it is turned on. We also need it to automatically turn off after duration. So how do we do that? Let's come back into our lovely banana once again. And up here at the top, you can see there is now an option that says edit keyboard macro. This particular one I have edited so that it toggles on and then toggles off. From that setup that we did previously, what you would see in here is just these first three options. So what it's saying is there is no delay here. We're gonna hit the key press, left control, alt, and F10, and we're gonna hold those buttons down for 300 milliseconds. That could probably literally be one millisecond. I just left it as 300 because that was the default that was in there and it seems to work fine. But then I want there to be a 20 second delay before it goes and does that same key press again. So what you can do down here at the bottom, you can see that you can do a plus and that will allow you to put in a new line. I'll just delete that one off there. And then you just need to repeat the key press in the same order, left control, alt and F10, and then add the delay. So it's 20,000 milliseconds is 20 seconds. And then we have the same duration of the key press. This is kind of what you need to do for each of these items. So with no delay, that's your first key press. With a 20 second delay, that's your second key press that will turn it off incredibly easy. Now, alternatively, you might want to be able to trigger this using custom commands in your chat. So this could be something that you could do as the broadcaster, or you could let your mods or maybe your subs or your VIPs do if you are using Twitch, of course. So within here, if we right click on the button, we can choose edit Twitch triggers. And you can see there, I have set up one where my mods can trigger this by typing the command banana. I've also added a second item there, which is redeem name, just to show you what that one looks like. So when I go and add on all the different things that will trigger this, you can see it can be done by bits, subs, gifted subs, points, host raids, and so on. So you can actually have these potentially trigger. If you receive a raid, you could make this then trigger for a duration and then toggle off again. So there's loads and loads of stuff that you can do here. But in this case, I've of course used a chat message there, which is the banana command with the exclamation mark in front. And I've also used the point redeem option there. Again, I have already covered this in my Lioran board tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, do go have a look. So let's go and test this. I'm just gonna switch over my profile so that I'm onto my live Twitch. So now that I'm using my OBS that is linked with my Twitch, I can go over to my channel points or I can just type in the command banana that I set up previously. I can redeem that. And now I'm a banana, hooray. <laughs> So that is it. There's quite a few steps to this one today, but I hope that I've broken that down nice and easily to follow along. I would love to know which of the filters you think are the best, which ones you're planning to use. Just think you could actually add some more to this. So you could add 
sound effects or maybe voice changes so that when you maybe change into a banana, you get a high pitched voice or a low pitched voice. That could be really interesting. Just, I'd love to hear what you're gonna do with these filters on your own stream. So let me know down in the comments. So if you found this video useful, please go ahead and do all of those things that you know I love, 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 like, comment, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next one.